it's Elle and today I'm sharing with you some of my favorite kind of unusual beauty tools. These are things I turn to each day that I've been using for years for the most part and products that I think you'll like. And you probably already have these at home, it's just a different way to maybe use them. So here we go. The first is an orange wood stick. Now if you have gotten your nails done or you do your nails, then chances are you've probably seen one of these. You can get them at like any beauty supply store, so like Sally Beauty. And these are used to push back your cuticles, clean up and around the nail, but what I use these for is to open up makeup palettes and compacts. I know, right? Weird. But I use this every single day. I have very sensitive fingertips that bruise when I open anything. It hurts my fingers. So I use this to just pop them open. You might like this if you have like fake nails or if you've just gotten your nails done, you just did them, whatever. Try this out and see if it saves you a little bit. This I shared on the blog a couple of years ago, but I've been using it consistently ever since. And this is the Every Drop. It's a makeup spatula, and I got this at the drugstore, like Walgreens, CVS, somewhere. And it has two ends, so you have this end with a ball, and then you have like this little spatula. So if you're like me, and you want to use up that good foundation to the last drop, then you've got to get a makeup spatula like this, because it's flexible, so you can really get in there and scrape that product out. And it's great if you're trying to get product out. If you're traveling or something, you want to take just a little bit. I like to use the ball end to do my little mad sorcery of mixing shades together. You do that, right? Now this next little beauty tool that I use every single day is probably something that you already have and it is a pill container, like a days of the week medicine holder. And what I use this for, y'all, my false eyelashes, let me show you. Let me flip up Sunday. Sunday's a bit of a wild day. And then I have some from Monday. Because you know you can reuse your lashes, right? So that's how this all started. A few years ago, I was traveling, and I had my lashes, and I was like, just throw them out. Just throw them out. I didn't throw them out because, like I said, I'm frugal. And if you clean them off with some eye makeup remover, you can reuse those suckers. So I popped them in this because it was the only thing I had. I've tried contact cases, but it didn't really work out too well. So this is what I use instead. Now, depending on the brand, the type, the size, the um, closure on this and making sure that it's sanitized, you can use this also to temporarily store some of your beauty products. So if you have that last little bit of foundation and you just want to put it in something smaller or you're traveling and you want to put it in something smaller, that little bit of lipstick, you know, you just scrape it out of there using the every drop spatula, put it in one of these, tape it up just to be safe, y'all, and put it in a Ziploc bag, and I've never had any problems with it leaking out or anything like that. Or just, you know, to keep it to store. Next up, I have a recent favorite that I've become obsessed with. I'm talking about the Hot Iron Holster. Do you have one of these? You're going to need one. You're going to get one. Hot Iron Holster comes in all different sizes and different colors. But what this is, is a heat resistant, I think this is up to 500 degrees, silicone holster. And it has a sticky back, so you can put this on anything. Think like the back of a chair, you know, I've seen it at salons like that, on your sink top, you know, wherever your, your vanity, wherever you're getting ready. This is great for storing your tools while they're cooling down, while they're cold, while they're even hot, because like I said, it's up to 500 degrees. You can use this top here to put your stuff on, so you don't have to worry about it sliding about. But if you are in a dorm or just a small space, I like to use this when I travel. Because in hotels, they never give us enough room. They don't understand that we need to spread out, we need a good vanity, or at least in the hotels that I stay in. But um, I put this on here, I've got room, I can spread out and do my makeup. So, love this. So they have all different sizes of them. This is the mini, the little holster here. And this is going to be heat resistant up to 225 degrees, I believe. So it has the sticky back, you know, just as long as it's on a clean, dry surface, it'll stick. And if it doesn't, just rub it with some rubbing alcohol. And for beauty purposes, I like to keep like my polishes, like a clear coat, you know, your file, whatever you need. Have your little manicure station next to you while you're watching TV. Your favorite beauty blogger. And it works great for that. I also like these, and I literally have over 50 uses, which I'm not going to go into because that's a little crazy. But um, I use these beside my bed, put my glasses in there, or I'll put my phone, my charger, put this beside the door so you can put your keys in there, put this beside the sink, put your rings in there so you don't forget about them. Or you can put a sponge in here, or soap since it has holes at the bottom, 
making it great for the sink, making it great for the shower. You can put your razor in I like in this here. when I travel because, like I said, they don't give us enough room. So I can keep everything kind of sanitized, I guess, and together. I'll put this on the mirror, put my toothbrush in, like I'll slant it so it stays in there. And my little travel toothpaste. Cannot say enough good things about these. They even have one for hot glue guns, all sorts of different sizes. Check these out, hot iron holsters. Next we have an eyebrow razor. So it looks like this. You can get it in the tweezer department. And this, obviously, you use the covers on it, y'all, for, like, touch-ups for your eyebrows. But what I use it for, picture this. I'm about to get in the car to go to church. I've got on my brand-new spring skirt. I'm looking cute. And then a gust of spring wind comes by, and I realize I have missed some hairs on my ankle and maybe my knees. So I just go back inside, do a little boop-boop, and I've got those hairs trimmed. I also use this for whenever I have pills on my sweaters and shirts, you know, those little balls of fabric from rubbish, whatever it happens, I'll take this, I'll just little boop boop and just knock those off and I love it. You gotta have one of these. I said I wasn't gonna talk about brushes, y'all, but this doesn't count, right? Right? This is a spoolie and this is basically a mascara wand. This one's from e.l.f. But I love this for many reasons. I use it to groom my eyebrows because I have big eyebrows and I use it to get rid of clumps in mascara. I use this every single day. Now here's a tip. If your mascara gets all over and, and it happens, don't go in and try to wipe it because it's going to smear it. If you go in with some sort of makeup removing wipe or whatever, you're still going to have to go back and apply that makeup and reapply it. What you do instead is wait for it to dry and then go through and then just scrape it off. It works. I also have these interdental brushes that I use for like the same exact purpose. And if you've ever had braces, you've seen these like, duh, duh, duh. but you can get these for like a couple bucks, um, 88 cents or something at Big Lots or just wherever. And I use these the exact same way for eyebrows, for clumps in your lashes. If you have small lashes, you're going to love this. And actually, I kind of figured this out when I was staying at my mom's house and I was in my brother's old bedroom because that's where I spend the night when I visit my family. And I was looking through his drawers for uh, Kleenex because I have horrible allergies, which is coming up in the next product I mentioned. But anyway, so I found these and I was like, oh, what are these? Oh, yeah, because he had braces. I've never had braces. I was like, what can I do with these? What can I do? And I came up with like 12 things and I've used them ever since. So I have a really old post if you want to search for those on that. But anyway, I love these. These are really fun, inexpensive, portable, keep them in your bag, great to have. The last little unusual beauty tool that I swear by is a travel humidifier. So you could just search eBay, search Amazon for these. This one was just really inexpensive. So those are some of the unusual beauty tools that I swear by every single day. I just found this in my pocket. Going to keep going. Anyway, um, let me know in the comments below what unusual beauty tools that you have to use every single day. And I have more. I can share those if you like. But in the meantime, don't forget to stop by lc.blogspot.com. I post there five to six days a week. Lots of beauty reviews. Lots of beauty tips and tricks. And of course, I have giveaways. Lots of good stuff. And as always, have a great day. Be safe, behave, and be well. Lavelle. Bye, y'all.